Excellency, today I will not say anything because I'm in a situation that I'm not able to say much. I, I normally know I'm a truthful person. And uh, the truth of the matter is that I'm very shy to face so many girls. So, so kwa leo tu wacha tu, eh, zawabu, unajua hakuna mtu hana weakness yake. We may look very strong there, lakini with all these girls looking at me, I'm not able to say much. But uh, I heard the chairman say that I should, should take care of something on Sunday. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, the way you clapped and cheered, it must be something very good. So whatever it is that he asked me to do, I'll do. <laughs> uh, Your Excellency, even I'm not, as I'm not able to face these girls, as I look down, I want to thank you on behalf of government and the people of Kenya for your leadership and strategic guidance in restoring sanity in our republic. Your Excellency, on the 13th of September last year in Kasarani, before God and men, you took the Bible and so to protect the Constitution and in that very constitution, there is a provision to protect life and property, and that is what you have done, Your Excellency. Kenya can now move forward, and Your Excellency, the decisions that you have made that have been ably been implemented by those below you brings to an end the politics of blackmail in our country. The use of violence for leaders to force themselves into government. Your Excellency, the situation is now 